Beijing announced on Thursday that it will implement export controls on aerospace equipment, engines, and key materials used in the production of bulletproof vests, effective July 1, 2024. According to customs data, these controls will impact approximately $8 billion worth of exports recorded in the first four months of the year. The new export controls are part of a broader strategy by China to regulate the export of critical technologies and materials, particularly those with potential military applications. The controls will be enforced by the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology in conjunction with other government departments, which will oversee the licensing and regulation process to ensure compliance with national security interests and international obligations. These measures reflect China's ongoing efforts to modernize its export control system, which includes enhanced license management, improved regulatory frameworks, and a more coordinated enforcement mechanism. The goal is to balance the promotion of international trade with stringent control over items that could be used in military or dual-use applications. China's decision comes in the context of escalating geopolitical tensions and reciprocal trade restrictions. The United States, for example, has imposed various export controls on Chinese firms, particularly targeting semiconductor technology and other advanced technologies crucial for military and intelligence applications. These actions are part of a broader trend of countries implementing measures to protect their technological and national security interests amidst increasing global competition. Washington has expressed significant concerns over China's recent announcement. The U.S. views this move as a direct response to its own export restrictions targeting Chinese technology, particularly in the semiconductor sector. In response, U.S. officials emphasized the need to counteract China's growing technological capabilities, especially in areas with potential military applications. The Biden administration is likely to enhance its existing measures by tightening restrictions on American technology and capital flowing into China's tech sector. This includes potentially adding more Chinese firms to the entity list, applying the foreign direct product rule, and prohibiting American personnel from collaborating with Chinese tech companies. Moreover, there are ongoing debates in Washington about the effectiveness and implications of these export controls. Some experts argue that while these measures aim to slow down China's technological advancements, they might inadvertently accelerate China's efforts to achieve self-sufficiency in critical technologies, thus boosting its domestic tech industry in the long run. The broader U.S. strategy involves collaborating with allies, particularly Japan and the Netherlands, to enforce similar export controls, ensuring a unified approach to limiting China's access to advanced technologies. This strategy is part of a larger geopolitical effort to maintain U.S. technological leadership and economic security in the face of rising competition from China. Can you do us a favor? Let's take a quick pause. Could you do us a favor? If you enjoy our content, please hit the like button. To help even more, leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Your engagement helps us grow. Thank you. The Biden administration has announced plans to increase tariffs on a wide range of Chinese products under Section 301 of the Trade Act, impacting about $18 billion worth of imports. These measures target strategic sectors such as steel and aluminium, semiconductors, electric vehicles, EVs, batteries, critical minerals, solar cells, ship-to-shore cranes, and medical products. The tariffs on these products will increase from zero, 7.5% to 25%. This sector is critical for the U.S. economy, and the new tariffs aim to counteract China's overcapacity and subsidies that result in artificially low prices for Chinese exports. Tariffs will be raised from 25% to 50% by 2025. This action addresses China's rapid expansion in semiconductor manufacturing, which threatens U.S. market-driven investments. The increased tariffs are part of a broader strategy to bolster the U.S. semiconductor industry through the Chips and Science Act, which includes a $53 billion investment in domestic semiconductor manufacturing. Tariffs on EVs will jump from 25% to 100% in 2024. This significant increase aims to protect U.S. manufacturers from China's extensive subsidies and non-market practices that have led to a surge in Chinese EV exports. Tariffs on lithium-ion EV batteries and other critical minerals will rise to 25%, addressing the heavy reliance on Chinese-controlled segments of the EV battery supply chain. The new tariffs complement other policies designed to promote domestic production and enhance supply chain resilience. The U.S. Trade Representative, USTR, 
has also introduced a product exclusion process for machinery used in U.S. manufacturing, allowing companies to petition for tariff exemptions on specific imported products. In response to the increased tariffs imposed by the Biden administration, China has taken several major measures. China is considering imposing significant retaliatory tariffs on U.S. goods, specifically targeting imported vehicles with large displacement engines. This is seen as a direct response to the U.S.'s increased tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles, EVs, batteries and other clean energy products. Beijing has announced plans to potentially raise tariffs on various imported goods from the United States including chemicals and other critical materials. This move aims to counteract the economic impact of the U.S. tariffs and to protect its domestic industries from increased competition. The Chinese government is providing extensive subsidies and support to its domestic industries, particularly in advanced manufacturing sectors like semiconductors and clean energy. This support aims to enhance the global competitiveness of Chinese companies and reduce reliance on U.S. technology and markets. China has been actively strengthening its trade relations with BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, to mitigate the impact of U.S. tariffs and diversify its economic partnerships. This strategy involves seeking new trade agreements and expanding existing partnerships within the BRICS framework, which represents a significant portion of the global economy. Trade between China and other BRICS countries has seen substantial growth. In the first quarter of 2024, Trade volume between China and BRICS nations increased by 15%, reflecting deeper economic integration and cooperation. China has signed several bilateral trade agreements with BRICS countries aimed at reducing trade barriers and enhancing economic cooperation. These agreements cover various sectors, including agriculture, technology, and energy, facilitating smoother and more efficient trade flows. China is investing heavily in infrastructure projects within BRICS countries. Through initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative BRI, China is financing and constructing major infrastructure projects such as ports, railways, and highways to improve connectivity and trade logistics among BRICS nations. To reduce dependence on the U.S. dollar and mitigate the impact of U.S. financial sanctions, China has entered into currency swap agreements with BRICS countries. These agreements allow for the use of local currencies in trade transactions, enhancing financial stability and bilateral trade. Within the BRICS framework, China is promoting multilateral initiatives to enhance economic cooperation. This includes the establishment of the New Development Bank, NDB, which funds infrastructure and sustainable development projects in BRICS and other emerging economies. The NDB provides an alternative to Western-dominated financial institutions, further strengthening economic ties among BRICS countries. China is collaborating with BRICS countries on technology and innovation, sharing expertise and investing in joint research and development projects. This cooperation aims to enhance technological capabilities and drive economic growth in all member countries. By focusing on these strategic areas, China aims to create a more resilient and diversified economic network that can better withstand external pressures, such as U.S. tariffs. The deepening of trade relations with BRICS countries not only mitigates the impact of trade disputes, but also promotes long-term economic stability and growth for all member nations. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. We sincerely appreciate you joining us today. If our content resonated with you or sparked inspiration, please consider expressing your support by liking it and subscribing to stay connected with our community. Your support holds immense value for us. You can watch another video of our channel which is now on the screen.